Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there even after bad predictions. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, Carl Frampton just ran roughshod over the hedge I recommended before his fight against Hugo Cesares. Let me just point out, Frampton won the fight legitimately by second round knockout. Now, I know you're going to hear a lot of reports that Cesares leans up off the canvas. He's on a knee. He winks at his corner. He listens to the referee. Right Immediately after the fight is stopped, he hops up to his feet. He's fully coordinated. He starts arguing. He's outraged that the fight got stopped. The problem is, when you hit the canvas, you only have 10 seconds to get up. Right? You have to get up within 10 seconds. Here, Cazares, whatever he was thinking, did not beat the count. This is a KO. I don't believe the ref did anything wrong. Right? The referee counts to 10. Cazares, by the way, isn't in the process of getting up when the fight is stopped. In my opinion, a lot of these fighters look coherent. You know, they might be a bit embarrassed to be on the canvas, but that doesn't negate the fact that the fighter himself might be dazed and confused. Right? Understand, Cazares had not been knocked out since 1999. The canvas was foreign territory to him. Right? So when he hits the canvas and he's joking around, letting his corner know that he's lucid and stuff like that, he's not lucid. Right? He's embarrassed. He's on the canvas. If you're confused... If you've been drilled with the kind of left hand that Franton hit Cazares with, and you hit the canvas, maybe your eyes are open. Maybe your sarcasm is back. But it's clear that Cazares wasn't completely mentally there. In boxing, that's a KO, and it was legitimate. Now let me just talk about what I got wrong in this fight. Because it's frustrating. Right? The bet I recommended was to take the over six and a half rounds, hedged with Cazares, the underdog, at seven to one odds. You know, in my opinion, Cazares fought exactly the wrong fight. When you're fighting a guy like Frampton, who on his front foot's a juggernaut. But on his back foot, not so much so. Who needs a wide foot base to operate. Why wouldn't you want to get him on his back foot? Right? If I'm fighting Mike Tyson, do I want Tyson coming at me or do I want Tyson backing up? Right? Why wouldn't Cazares clinch, you know, get physical with him, smother Frampton? Right, Frampton has a little bit of a loop on his punches. Look at the left hand that ends this fight. Right, he has a little bit of a loop. Don't you want to get inside of that loop? Isn't this about angles? Isn't the worst place to be against Carl Frampton? Over by the ropes? I thought it was ridiculous. I was, I was watching the fight and I was wondering who Cazares prepared for. Right, he's outside. Frampton is throwing big punches, right? The first round's competitive. In fact, the second round is competitive before the knockdown. Right, but it's a little bit bewildering what Cazares was trying to accomplish. Let me just say this too. 
And I know people are going to disagree with me, but that comes with the territory here online. Just seconds before, and I literally mean seconds before, he gets dropped off a left hand. Cazares actually does a nice one-two. Right? Throws both hands in succession. Both of which land on Frampton. It's kind of like an indication of what could have been. Right? Let me also point out, too, that moments before the knockdown, that second round had a lot of crazy action. It looked like the men hit their hips together. Cazares seems to have had a hip pointer or something, right? He actually needed time. The referee gave him time, stops the fight in the second round, while he kind of bent and tried to get his balance back and stuff like that, right? I wonder whether that caused him to, rather than lean on Frampton in the middle of the ring, to somehow decide that he was going to mosey on over back to the side of the ring by the ropes where he got drilled and stopped. Right? So what I've done here is I've posted the fight. I've posted a link to the fight on my channel page here. Also, a link can be found at dwireboxingnews.blogspot.com. Some site like that. But if you're on YouTube, just go to my favorites, the playlist, the fight will pop right up. It's a less than two minute fight. It's worth watching for the atmosphere and the action. Let me congratulate the Frampton people. I said Frampton's going to have to prove it to me. I'll concede the punching power is there. But he looked like a young guy. I didn't really see him do much inside. Right? This fight was kind of a fluky fight against a vet who curiously decided to fight a slugger like Frampton at arm's length. Right? Let's just say, Frampton won today. Today is his, but the jury's still out. I'd like to see him against veteran competition that's going to actually force him on his back foot and is actually going to force him to fight in the middle of the ring not over by the side of the ring, right? Show me a fight that doesn't have a clash of hips where the guy looks like he can't walk moments before getting knocked out. And show me a fight where the guy actually tries to beat the count when he hits the canvas and winks at his corner. Let me also say, too, that there is an analogy here between this fight and the Malik Scott fight. Now, Scott does try to get up that ref seem to think that it's a nine count and not a ten count. Okay, fair enough. But I do believe both guys, when they hit the canvas, didn't have all of their faculties. Just because a fighter smiles and is embarrassed on the canvas doesn't mean that fighter fully understands that literally he's on the clock. I congratulate Frampton. I congratulate his fans. I know the dialogue here in the comment section to my pre-fight video was spirited. Frampton prevailed. No question about this. I'm wiping the egg off my face. Congratulations. Thanks for stopping by. Let me hear your post-fight report. Tell me what was going on with Kazaris' strategy. Tell me what was going on with that hip pointer. Was that gamesmanship or was that legit? Also, what's going on with... Cazares hanging out by the ropes. You tell me how Cazares could have improved on his performance and how Frampton could have improved on his. Also understand, the water is deep in the division. How would Guillermo Rigondio fight this fight differently? Let me also point out too that if you research the division a bit here online, you're going to see an interview where Leo Santa Cruz claims he's ready to fight Frampton in Ireland. What happens in that fight? Thanks for stopping by.